Alright, getting ready to do the sleeping scene. Uh, we got the audio recorder here, a Zoom H6. H6. Uh, here we got the GH5 Panasonic. We got the green screen right there, which I'll end up keying that out in order for the sleeping nun or the scary nun to pop up through. And we got one light right here, this LED wand. And then the natural light in the room and the camera's hooked up it's on a gimbal well it's on a tripod right here but it's on the gimbal got it programmed going through the phone it's one of them Zion I don't know crane plus right there. Uh, I got it so it'll tilt up at the beginning of the scene and it'll come down for three seconds and then and then sit flat right here for all the remainder of the shots. Hopefully that pan down move, I'll be using that for uh, a transfer from the scene before I enter this one. Uh, after all that gets done, after this scene gets shot and it gets done, is what I plan on doing is taking a cell phone, recording off of the back of the LCD on the camera, that scene, keep it logged into the phone, and then I'll come over and do the scary guy scene, or the scary nun scene, hiding back there on the other side of the bed. And I'll use the recorded footage on the phone in order to get my key points of when I should stand, when I should uh, move my arms around, and whatnot. And hopefully it'll help sync the timing between those two completely different shots. So that's what we got for right now. And that mirror right there, Keenan, that's going to be a pain in the ass. So, all right. Getting ready to shoot the scary nun scene. Uh, only thing different in the room is the green screen was taken down from covering the window, which the scary nun will be standing and placed on the bed so I can put that out of there. I uh, already shot the sleeping guy scene, and what I ended up doing is just gonna, oh yeah, it'll work. Uh, is what I ended up doing is after shooting that scene, I just recorded with the phone right off of the camera's LCD so I can get the timing right of when to stand up with the sleek scary nun. So, uh, let's see what's going to happen.
All right, here's a quick little thing on some of the software editing that was done. Uh, the program used was DaVinci Resolve 15, as you can see down in the bottom left corner down here. Uh, turn everything off so you can see this piece of the footage just stock, which how it was shot. You see the green screen and everything. And I'll turn off a bunch of these nodes and then go back and turn them on one by one so you can see, uh, see part of the process there. I did leave the noise and the blur on, the denoiser and the blur on, but you're not going to notice a difference on that. Uh, first node here is the color correction right there, which did bring the room up. It's a little bit more vibrant than, uh, than a natural look if you've seen it with your own eyes, but it's pretty close. Uh, the next node is the actual color grade, where I knocked everything down to kind of give it a morning feel, or at least trying to give it a little bit of a morning feel. Um, I did want to have a little bit of light on the subject, on the bed, and also the scary nun that pops up out a window. So this node right here creates that light. There we go, on, off, turn it back on. And the bedroom lights here, earlier in the scene, the, uh, the actor reaches back and turns on the light, which turns on the headlights, or the headlights, the, uh, the lights in the headboard of the bed uh, the bed actually does have lights into it, but I didn't use them because of shadows, and I didn't want to try to deal with the blending different things in together, but that's a different story. Uh, so I didn't use them, and I just fudged them all with artificial light through the program here. Uh, I'll turn that on now. As you can see, I'm turning that on. Off and on. Off and on. Uh, and then we got a little denoiser here, and then the blur. So I can get a little bit of a depth of field and focus when the scary nun pops up in the background. Everything is completely uh, out of focus except for the scary nun. And then when the subject comes to the end of the bed, that that gains focus. And in the beginning, it fades in. The whole thing is uh, slightly blurry. And then uh, then focuses just to the subject. And then the final node here, I did another color correction just to kind of blend the layer, blend everything in together here. Uh, which is that right there, knocked it down a little bit darker. And uh, that's pretty much about it, for at least the color schemes and everything.